The following information is provided for educational purposes only and in no way constitutes legal, tax, or financial advice. For legal, tax, or financial advice specific to your business needs, we encourage you to consult with a licensed attorney and or CPA in your state. The following information is copyright protected. No part may be redistributed, copied, modified, or adapted without prior written consent of the author. In this video, we are going to teach you how to research and choose your desired LLC name. The purpose of this video is to help you avoid infringing upon someone else's name rights, to help you differentiate your business name from existing entities, and to make sure your desired LLC name is available for use. In order to make sure your desired LLC name is available for use, you will need to search it against the existing organized entities on the state's online database. We will first walk you through some requirements and restrictions, and then later we will show you how to perform your search. Name requirements. Your LLC name must end with the words Limited Liability Company or the abbreviations L.L.C. or LLC. Using the abbreviation LLC is the most common. For example, Joe wants to start a company by the name Joe's Landscaping Services. Since he is forming an LLC, he must file under the name Joe's Landscaping Services LLC. Again, using the abbreviation LLC or the full word limited liability company is a requirement when forming an LLC. Name restrictions. Your LLC name cannot imply that it is a corporation. You are not allowed to use the words corporation or incorporated or the abbreviations corp or inc anywhere in your LLC name. Let's look at our example again. Since Joe wants to form an LLC, he cannot call his company Joe's Landscaping Services Inc. LLC or Joe's Landscaping Services Incorporated LLC. Your desired LLC name must also be distinguishable. This means it cannot be too similar to the names of existing organized entities that are found in the results during the search of the database. We will now illustrate several examples of distinguishability and we will provide examples you may see while performing your search. Differences in designators, which are the identifiers at the end of a business name, do not create distinguishability. Examples of designators would be Inc. or Corp. for corporations and LLC or L.L.C. for limited liability companies. There are other designators as well, but these are the most commonly used. For example, your desired LLC name is Smith Investments LLC, but during the search of the database, let's say you found the business under the name Smith Investments Inc. In this example, your desired LLC name would not be available for use. You would have to think of an alternative name that is unique and different. An example would be Smith Financial Group LLC. Grammatical differences. The following do not create distinguishability. Differences in variables in singular, plural, and possessive forms of a word. For example, your desired LLC name is Apple Farm LLC. Let's just say during the search you found the business under the name Apple Farms LLC, or let's say you also found the business under Apple's Farm LLC with an apostrophe S. Both of these names, although slightly different, are too similar, and therefore your desired LLC name would not be available for use. An example of an alternative name would be Bob's Apple Orchard LLC. The following do not create distinguishability. Differences in articles, such as a, an, or the. For example, your desired LLC name is Print Shop LLC. Let's just say that during the search of the database, you found a business called The Print Shop LLC, or you found a business called A Print Shop LLC. Again, although they seem different, these names are all the same in the eyes of the state, and therefore your desired LLC name would not be available for use. An alternative name would be Printing Solutions LLC. The following also do not create distinguishability. The use of conjunctions, such as and, or, and the ampersand symbol. Let's say your desired LLC name is Night and Day LLC with the ampersand symbol. But during your search, you find a Night and Day LLC or you found a Night Day LLC. Again, both of these examples are too similar and your desired LLC name is not distinguishable and therefore not available for use. An example of an alternative name 
would be Moon and Sunshine LLC. The following also do not create distinguishability. The use of certain punctuation, such as hyphens, slashes, periods, commas, etc. Let's say your desired LLC name is Peter, Paul, and Mary Studios LLC, but during your search you found Peter Paul Mary Studios Incorporated, or you found a Peter, comma, Paul, comma, and Mary Studios Incorporated. Again, both of these examples are too similar, and therefore your desired LLC name would not be available for use. An alternative example would be PPM Productions LLC. Alphanumeric. Differences in numerical or written numbers does not create distinguishability. For example, let's say your desired LLC name is 3 Teachers Consulting LLC with the number 3 spelled out, but during your search of the database you found a company called 3 Teachers Consulting LLC with the number 3. Again, these are deceptively similar. The state does not look at these as any different and therefore your desired LLC name would not be available for use. An alternative example would be a few good teachers consulting LLC. Deceptively similar. Names that are too similar to existing organized entities also do not create distinguishability. For example, your desired LLC name is Speedy Delivery Services LLC, but during your search, let's say you find a Speed Delivery Services LLC or you find a Super Speedy Delivery Services LLC. Again, these names are too similar, therefore your desired LLC name would not be available for use. An example of an alternative name would be At Your Door Quick, LLC. Takeaways. As you can see, just filing your paperwork with your desired LLC name is not as straightforward as you may have originally thought. The most important takeaways from showing you all these examples are as follows. It's important to make sure your name is truly unique and not too similar to the names of existing organized entities. If your desired LLC name is unavailable for use, either by its exact match already being used or by it being too similar to an existing name, we recommend using some creativity and coming up with a variation of your original LLC name so that the name is now unique and is distinguishable and stands apart from other businesses. Some additional tips to think of when creating your LLC name are make your LLC name easy to spell. You want to make sure people can find you when they're looking for you. Make your LLC name short. Shorter names are easier for people to remember. Make your LLC name have a positive connotation. Leave people with a good feeling when they hear about your business. You are now ready to search your desired LLC name against the state's online database. We showed you a number of examples where the desired LLC names were not available for use, but don't worry. In the next part of this video, we will provide plenty of examples of names that are available for use so that you can best understand the database and the results that you see. Company statuses in the Georgia database. Companies in the Georgia database will show various statuses when doing your search, which will help you determine your LLC's name availability. There are multiple statuses in the database, including active slash compliance, admin dissolved for administratively dissolved, automated administrative dissolution slash revocation, dis slash cancel slash terminated, dissolved is what this stands for, to be dissolved, and withdrawn. Let's explain the most common statuses. Statuses of names that are available will be dissolved slash canceled slash terminated and withdrawn. What that means is that if you do a search and your desired name is already in existence, but it has one of these statuses, you can still use that name. Statuses of names that are not available are active slash compliance, admin dissolved for administratively dissolved, automated administrative dissolution slash revocation, and to be dissolved. Again, what this means is if you do a search for your name and it comes up already in existence and it has one of these statuses, you'll need to think of a variation for your name because it will not be available. Don't worry, this will make more sense in a moment when we show you how to search the database. Remember, these are the most common statuses that you will see. For a full list of all the entity statuses that may show in your search results, please see below this video. Let's search the online database now to show you how this works. It may be easier to watch us perform the search the first time, then you can revisit this part of the video when you do your own search. 
Let's look at our first example. Let's say your desired LLC name is Atlanta Antiques Show LLC. So let's go over to the database and we're first going to search Atlanta Antiques. Here I am at George's database. Right here, we're going to leave the defaults as they are, which is the business name starts with. Whether you type lowercase or uppercase, it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do our first search. Now, although our desired LLC name is Atlanta Antiques Show, I'm just going to do a search for Atlanta Antiques to see all the results because this is the best way to determine distinguishability. All right, now I'm going to hit the search button and let's look at the results. You can see there are four results here. We have Atlanta Antiques and Auction Company, LLC, Atlanta Antiques and Collectibles, Atlanta Antiques International, and Atlanta Antiques. In this case, our desired LLC name is going to be available because there's nothing that's too close to it. Now, just to double check, let's go and search this a second time. And now I'm going to search Atlanta Antique Show without the S on Antiques. This is to be sure that the name is definitely distinguishable and unique. All right, I've entered Atlanta Antique Show, and I'm going to click Search, and we have no data found. That means there's nothing that starts with Atlanta Antique Show. In this example, our desired LLC name, Atlanta Antique Show, is unique and distinguishable, and therefore it's available. Let's look at another example. Let's say the desired LLC name is Tech Tools LLC. Let's go to the database, and let's first search Tech Tool, singular. I'm going to enter Tech Tool, click Search, and look, we have Tech Tool Belt LLC and Tech Tooling LLC. Cool. So far, Tech Tools is distinguishable as it's unique from these names here. Let's go ahead and double check, though. We're going to search it one more way. We're going to do Tech Tools, plural. Click Search. No data found. Perfect. Again, in this case, our desired LLC name, Tech Tools LLC, will be available for use because it's distinguishable and there's nothing like it that's existing. Let's look at one more example. Let's say your desired LLC name is Joe Max Enterprises LLC. Let's head over to the database and let's search Joe Max Enterprises. Joe Max Enterprises. Now I'm going to click the search button. Oh, we have a result here Joe Max Enterprises LLC. However, remember earlier we mentioned to check the statuses. In this case, this is dissolved, which means that this name is available for use. Again, Joe Max Enterprises LLC is going to be available for use because the prior entity has been dissolved. Let's look at some examples of unavailable names. Let's say your desired LLC name is Peach Trader LLC. Let's head over and search Peach Trader. I'm going to click back to search. Peach Trader. Click the search button. Oh, Peach Trader Inc with a status of active compliance. In this case, because there's a Peach Trader Inc., our desired LLC name Peach Trader LLC is not going to be available because it's not distinguishable. Even though that we want to be LLC and there's already a corporation, doesn't matter, the state will not approve it because there's already an active and compliant corporation. Let's look at another example. Let's say your desired LLC name is Cookies and Milk LLC. We're going to go to the database and we're first going to do a search for Cookies and Milk using the ampersand symbol. And then we'll do cookies and milk with A-N-D written out. So let's go cookies and milk with the ampersand symbol. Hit search. Oh, no data found. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and let's do that search again. But let's do cookies and milk. And let's hit search. Oh, see, it's good that we did the, the symbol and A-N-D spelled out. In this case, look, cookies and milk LLC with a status of active. So in this case, because there's that existing LLC, cookies and milk, just because we want to use the ampersand symbol does not make it unique. And therefore, this name is not available for use because there's already an active and compliant LLC. Takeaways. You want to search your desired LLC name every way that you can think of to make sure it's truly unique and distinguishable. The good news is that you can search as many names and variations as you'd like, and it's not going to cost you anything. This is an important step in forming your LLC, so take the time to ensure your name is unique and that it does not conflict with any existing businesses. If you have any questions about the database, you can call the state at the phone number found below this video. Once you find a name that is unique and distinguishable from existing businesses, you can then proceed to the next step. This now concludes the name research lesson.